guys welcome to my channel this is crafty garden and my name is Stephanie this is a channel about sewing and knitting crocheting spinning quilting it's just all of the crafty things um, this is gonna be a heavy spinning video because I just got my first spinning wheel and um, tour de fleece is happening right now but I do have some knitting things to talk about and I'm gonna talk about that first so um, as far as things that I'm working on right now, my major project has been the Sew Faded Sweater. So this is um, the bag I've been keeping it in, um, and my um, needle's hanging out, sorry. This is my sweater. It's nearly complete. Um, I just have to finish the sleeves. So. Um, this uh, yarn is by Peggy Jane Fibers, and she has an Etsy shop. I'll link everything that I talk about down below um, in the description bar. So this is all Peggy Jane Fibers. The majority of this, majority of this is um, potent petals, um, except for the first color, which is actually called um, Fuzzy Peaches or something like that. Um, and this was only available uh, at Must Love Yarn in Vermont. Um, it's a store in northern Vermont, not far from Burlington. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, this is my sweater. And um, this is my uh, sleeve I'm working on right now. I'm just using some circulars because I prefer just working around um, I really don't like using magic loop for a small number of stitches. Um, it just seems tedious to be pushing those needles back and forth. So these, uh, this is a size two needle. Um, I did the body with a US size two. And my stitch marker, just my beginning of round stitch marker, is a little bun bun. And if you've ever seen Hannah, um, I think her, sh her channel is Crafty Chat, something like that. Um, Hannah and she makes these little uh, progress keepers and stitch markers and um, she has a video on making these little bunnies and so I made one I've actually I made a couple but this is a little black one and I absolutely love it it's my little bun bun so anyways yeah I just have to finish this and I'm gonna enter it into Christy Glass and Jenna Darling's um, Fidito cow so um, it's almost done. I just have to finish the sleeves. And it does fit. I've tried it on. It fits really nicely. And I love it. I just need to finish it. I've uh, been, been a bit distracted by um, that thing. <laughs> but, yeah. So, sorry about that. The other project I've been working on is um, a pair of socks. And I'm also knitting that with Peggy Jane Fibers. And... This color, I think, is called Radioactive Sprinkles, or something like that. Um, and I just loved this. I fell in love with it. I've got um, my little 8-inch circulars. These are size 0, and I've just kind of stuffed them in the cake. And this is the little um, mini skein that I'm using to make these socks. So here's one sock. It's my half object. And so it's a fish lips kiss heel, and uh, these are toe up. So I have started the other sock. Um, I just have the toe, and so yeah, I think I cast on. Um, I want to say twelve, so twenty four total, twelve on each side. Um, and I'll use these, um, I think these are Haya Haya Sharps, just to finish the toe. And then I'll switch to my Addy 8-inch um, circulars to do the, um, mush dash, um, <laughs> to do the, um, <laughs> to, to, to work in the round, like for the, the foot of the sock. So, <laughs> sorry about that. And um, so yeah, so I just have to finish this one on my uh, Woodyco, Woodyco, 
Wood, Woodica, no, Woodica, right? Um, sock blocker, and uh, this is the size medium with the little sheep. And I also have the, um, the deer in the size large. I bought these thinking that maybe I could use these for my husband, but I think he's actually probably like an extra large foot to an extra, extra large, but um, we'll see. So I haven't made him socks yet because I want to like get really good at making myself socks that fit first before I worry about trying to fit somebody else's foot. Um, yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, this one fits. It's just a hair snug right here. And I did actually put them, I blocked them first on this, and then I re-wet them and blocked them on this, hoping the larger size would kind of stretch it out a hair, and I think it did. Um, so it's fine. So for this next one, when I get towards where I want to start the heel, I think I'm just going to increase a couple stitches just to give me some more space right here, because I've had that issue with most of the socks that I knit, um, tightness right here. And I think that means I have a high instep. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, those are my socks and my sock buckers. So yeah, the sweater and the socks are really what I've been knitting on. Um, but I also have uh, a Find Your Fade, and I just temporarily put it in this little bag that I made. It's supposed to have handles. I made this years ago and never put the handles on it. I actually made a couple of these, um, and I actually stamped them with pears. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I just put some of um, the things from my Find Your Fade in there. Um, I passed them the halfway or the midway point where you turn. So I'll just show you from the start. I have um, Spell. That was my first color. And then Birthday Cake. I'm not showing you the wrong side. Birthday Cake. And then Fool's Gold, and then Zephyr, this white color. And this is actually um, not Hedgehog Fibers. This is Celestial Bodies by Yarn Jar Shop. Um, and I'll show you that. And I really wanted a blue color. I wanted this kind of um, pretty, I don't know, it's kind of almost teal blue. Um, and it's got beautiful pops of pink and purple and orange in there. And it just really pulls out the other colors in my fade. So then the next color I have is this bubble color. And after that is jelly. And that's going to be it. That'll be, I'll be done. So I uh, really don't have that much more to go. I just lost mojo on knitting it. Um, I think I've been distracted by my sweater and uh, more recently spinning. In my new spinning wheel so um so yeah these are my last two colors and yeah so i think that's pretty much it for knitting um, i did the 91 shop hop um that happened right at the end of june so not that long ago and i only went to three sh uh shops um this will show you my little passport um, oh, here's my passport. So, I only went to three shops, and I got stamped. Um, I've got Hand Knits with a K, and then Green Mountain Spinnery, and then down here is Webs. So, I went to Webs for the first time. Actually, all of these stores I went to, uh, it was my first time going to these stores. So, these two, um, Green Mountain Spinnery, was in Putney, Vermont, Hand Knits was in Brattleboro, Vermont, and then Webbs is in Massachusetts, Northampton. And uh, Webbs was interesting. It was the first time I've ever been there. It was a massive store, and surprisingly, I didn't um, look at everything. I didn't get to see everything because um, I knew that I was there to seriously consider purchasing a spinning wheel, and I did. I did buy my Lindrum my brand new <laughs> Lindrum. Um, I got the complete kit. I'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, so I was really distracted by um, by that and I pretty much spent all of my time at Webbs um, playing with the spinning wheels. 
So, so yeah, I got this bag at um, Green Mountain Spinnery, and inside of it, um, this is a little kit. It came with a pattern, and I got this gingham color, and I already caked it up, so it'd be ready to go. Um, and I think it's kind of a mauve color, so um, I don't know if they're still doing that mauve along. It's probably ending soon, but um, but yeah, it's kind of a mauve, and I think it would be really beautiful for uh, winter. So I don't think I'm going to touch this anytime soon. I don't think I'll make anything with it anytime soon. It came with a pattern. Um, I'll show you the pattern. It came with this little, uh, I don't want to show you the pattern, the instructions, but it came with this pattern. And yeah, I don't know if I'm that interested in it. Um, it's pretty but I might see what else I can make with it. Um, I don't have any plans right now. Like I said, I'll probably won't knit with that until probably late fall to winter. Um, Cause right now I'm all about bright um, summery colors and yeah. So also on my bag, I also got this little um, pen from Webs and this says rip it, rip it, or rip it, rip it, and it's a little frog and he's ripping back. I just thought it was hilarious. So yeah, that's my, um, that was my 91 shop hop. Um, oh, I got buttons uh, from hand knits and I didn't bring them upstairs with me. They're little pewter buttons with snowflakes on them. Okay, uh, I'm back. So <laughs> I got these buttons. Um, from Hand Knits, and this was in Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, they are little snowflakes. See if I can hold it up a little closer. Little snowflakes. And I got six of them. So I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to use them for. I'm assuming that eventually I will have a cardigan or a sweater or something. But I just loved them, and there were just enough um, of these snowflakes to make a, um, well, to have for like a sweater or a cardigan or something. So, um, yeah. And they're pewter and they're really nice. So that was it pretty much for it for my, um, 91 Shop Hop. 20. So other knitting plans. This is my, um, you can see my Mrs. Brown Spags, and this is inspired also by Peggy Jane Fibers. So I've mentioned Peggy Jane Fibers like a hundred times already, but um, basically I found her, um, I found this yarn, and then after that I was just like buying all of the Peggy Jane Fibers stuff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is... Um, her potent petals colorway and um, it matches my sweater <laughs> and uh, oh yeah I moved I moved at what this this sweater used to be in here and then I moved it to this bag um, my husband and I went on vacation to the Outer Banks North Carolina and um, we stopped at this knitting store over there it's called knitting addiction I'll see I'm trying to put my hand there so you can read it knitting addiction and then on this side it says, life's too short to knit with ugly yarn. You can see that. So um, I actually really love this bag. I love that it's see-through. Um, there's some little Haya Haya progress, or not progress, um, like needle keepers in the bottom. I haven't actually used them in a while, but yeah. So I had the, I had the sweater in this bag, but right now in this bag I've got um, another sweater that I want to make and I thought I loved the um, so faded sweater so much that I thought I was going to make another one but now I'm thinking that I might make um, you know uh, Christy Glass made a granito I think it's called a granito um, and it has like little pockets um, and she made it sleeveless and I'm actually, I'm thinking about making a sleeveless one. I have enough to make, um, a full length sleeve. I have four skeins. Sorry, this is, um, this is 
Legacy Fiber Arts. And these three are in Becoming Mother. And then this is in Parchment. And this parchment is like a very pale, um, muted version of Becoming Mother. So I'll bring these up close. It has the little bit of brown, muted brown, and um, the light blue. And this to me, just for some reason, is super beachy. Like, it, it says beach to me. So... This will be my next sweater, hopefully. I actually, well, um, I know most people that have knit the Find Your Fade know that you have a lot of leftovers. Um, and I'm also thinking about making like a scrappy, um, either Find Your Fade or another similar um, faded sweater. Like take another sweater pattern and fade it um, with leftovers. I think that'll be fun. So yeah, that'll be my next um, sweater. And um, while I'm talking about it, I forgot this um, this store, Knitting Addiction in the Outer Banks. Um, they, I think it was um, Kill Devil Hills. Maybe the store was in either Kitty Hawk or Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. I picked up this um, yarn from their store. Um, this dyer um, dyes yarn for them exclusively. Um, and this is the colorway Freaky Tiki. And I don't have the, the band right now. Um, but I can put the information in the down bar. Uh, I think it's like Sea Star or Sea Glass, Sea Star Knit, something like that. I think it is a Sea Star. Go. I'm not really sure, but I'll put it down below. Um, and if you'd like to see what this looked like before I caked it, um, I'll also link my Instagram account um, in the down bar, and I have a picture of it there. So, yeah. I think that's it for knitting. So, on to spinning. Um, I've been spinning a lot lately. Um, I just got my wheel, like I said, and it is the Lindrum. I did get the complete package. Um, and the first, um, besides some um, free, like I've got a free pound of BFL that came with the wheel. Besides that, um, this is like my first project that I've been spinning. And it's by um, Edgewood Garden Studios, or Edgewood Garden Studio. And I got color... The colors, um, coral branches, which here's a little bit of that, and the color yellow sun, yellow sun one, <laughs> and here's a little bit of it um, divided up. Um, so the coral branches is here and here, and then yellow sun is here and here. So what I did was I divided my two braids up into... Um, each braid into six pieces and then so I had 12 pieces and then I divided those 12 evenly so that I'd have four sections um, per bag so I'll have um, you know roughly the same amount on each bobbin and I'll just show you the bobbin that I've on my wheel right oops um, <laughs> so this is the one I'm working on right now and I've got this little bit and this little bit left for this bobbin and then I'll do my last bag here and then I'm going to do a three ply and these are 85% um, merino and 15% nylon so I'm going to make these um, into sock yarn and um, I'm trying my best to keep it consistent but I'm a relatively new spinner and um, they're not perfectly consistent. They go in and out between, you know, fine and a little bit thicker. I think I've ordered um, one of those. So, so, so perfect pearls. I've been watching a lot of her, and she talks about this um, spin card. And I just placed an order for one, and it just helps you keep track of the thickness. And um, so, yeah, I think when that comes in, that's going to help me stay 
on track, but um, I'm hopeful that this will either be like a heavy fingering weight to hopefully like, I don't want to go much heavier than sport or um, DK. I mean, they're just, they're going to be socks. Um, and I'm still, I'm still working on, you know, learning and, and improving my um, consistency. So I'm not really concerned about it. Um, as long as they make good socks. Um, I know Merino isn't the best choice for socks, but um, this, uh, as far as like hand painted robing is concerned, this is a really affordable um, store on Etsy. This Edgewood Garden Studios is very affordable and the shipping was really good too. Um, not as fast as, um, I'll, like go ahead and drop a hint, it's really hot up here. <laughs> Uh, Paradise Fibers. I placed an order with them and it was like, bam, I had it. <laughs> the next, like, I think it only took like a couple days, two days maybe. And yeah. So anyways, this is um, almost done. I mean, I'm, you know, almost done with my second bobbin. And then all I have to do is just finish this one and play it. So I should have sock yarn pretty soon. Um, it's going to be my first time doing a three ply. So, um, We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but I do have a lazy cake, which hopefully will make things easier for me. Yep, so that's all that I'm spinning right now. And the rest um, that I have to talk about is going to be spinning acquisitions. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, fiber that I've gotten. And... Um, a lot of this I'm probably going to spin up in Tour de Fleece. So I got um, a bunch of orders today. A bunch of stuff came in the mail today. And one of them was this Hedgehog Fibers um, Merino. It is Merino nylon top, 70% Merino, 30% nylon. Combed top, hand dyed using wash fast life house dyes, machine washable. Really? May bleep. Anyways, um, so this was Cherry's Jubilee or Cherry Jubilee. Um, yes, it's got uh, some pops of other colors like this yellow and purple and kind of a I don't know, minty green or just a green color. Um, and I was thinking I would spin these into singles and I haven't made a singles yarn yet. Um, all the yarns I've made have plied, either two ply, like made a ball and then plied it back on itself or, um, but yeah, so I think this would be good to make a, um, to do my first singles yarn and maybe make a shawl out of it because I have two. I haven't even taken this out of that. It smells like dye. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking this would be really good uh, for a shawl, like two two of these, and I'll probably spin it um, somewhere near fingering weight, and um, yeah, just keep them as singles and make a um, shawl out of them. So that's my plans for these. I also got this created by LCB um, in the Gumdrops, Gumdrop, oh, here it is, um, created by LCB in the Gumdrops colorway, it's four ounces, and it's 100% Merino, um, super fine Merino, 18.5 microns, and it's got really gorgeous, gorgeous mint colors, and like a pink and a purple, kind of a brick red, and um, I don't know what kind of green this is. I want to say chartreuse, but it's not. Um, green. So this is gorgeous and super soft. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make with this yet. 
but um, whatever it is, it'll be beautiful. And that's all I have from LCB. Um, I did sign up for, oops, I did sign up for a three month subscription with LCB. So I should be getting, it's like the regular one, not the fancy one. So I should be getting um, another uh, shipment from them, or from her. I'll just show you what's left of my giant pound of BFL. I'm not gonna spin any more of this um, as is, cause it's really, this is really, I don't wanna say boring, but that's, that's pretty much how I feel. Um, so I think I want to order some dye and play around with dyeing this and make it beautiful and fun and then I could use the rest of this and turn it into like a real project instead of just using it to spend or practice, which I know um, is important, but I also want to love what I'm doing and right now I, this is just blah. Like, I'm just, I was not enjoying spinning this at all. It's lovely, but yeah, I think it just needs some color, and then I will love it. The last thing that I have to show you for, um, for, uh, fibery acquisitions is this Loop Lux. Um, well, <laughs> it's not just this Loop Lux. This is a sample that came with, um, my Loop order. And it is this little um, sample, and I don't know, okay, 25% cashmere, 25% silk, and then 50% merino. And it's super soft. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's super duper soft and fluffy. And it's like this peachy sort of cream and natural color. Ugh, it's lovely. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um... Yeah, so any ideas for that? Like I could just pop it in somewhere um, in one of my, my other projects, but yeah. So the main thing that I ordered from Loop was this. This is called Rainy Rainbows. <laughs> and it is 5.6 ounces. It's Merino, Angelina, Bamboo, and Silk. And I really love on the back how you can see this gorgeous purple and it's blue. And I'll take it out of the bag. I've been really careful with it because I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. It's so pretty. And I didn't really notice. Um, there's like a hint of purple here, but I didn't like. I didn't know how much purple there was in it. But on the back, it's like bam. <laughs> and I really love this purple and I love this blue and the pink. I just love it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Um, I mean, I kind of do. Like, I think this would make a gorgeous shawl. And I think it would be really pretty. Um, she also, or, uh, yeah, her name's Stephanie, too. <laughs> My name's Stephanie. Her name's Stephanie. It's cute, right? Surprisingly, there's a lot of Stephanie's on Etsy. Is it a hint? I think it's a hint. <laughs> but, um, she does these, um, so this is sort of like black color, black color, black color, black color. She does these other ones that are white in color, white in color. And, um, some are similar to this that she sold in the past. So maybe if she comes out with another one, then I'll get a white one and do like a white and black shawl all these fun colors or brioche I have not attempted brioche yet you know maybe Ugh. okay that's enough of that so um, and I just love these um, I mean it's a bag but it's cute right and the little drawstring looks like it should be be on a raincoat for rainy rainbows um, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I showed you all the things. Um, my tour de fleece plans are basically 
to spin every day, um, basically follow the guidelines. Um, you're supposed to wear yellow, and I'm thinking, do I have a yellow shirt? I don't, do I, I don't know if I have any yellow. I have like a limey green. Does that count? Um, you're supposed to wear a yellow shirt on the last day to say that you're a winner. I don't know. Um, also, you can wear white if you're a rookie, and I'm definitely a rookie. Oh, speaking of wearing, little segue, um, this is a Deer and Doe Datura that I sewed last year, and I'll show you, it's like a little blouse with buttons on the back. Um, I probably showed it last year, um, I did some, uh, I want to say vlogging, um, last year, um, I was really on a sewing kick, and I've been kind of slacking on sewing lately, and not just because of the spinning wheel, um, just in general. I'm trying to pick it back up. I do have um, this shirt that I started to cut out. This was from a Sew Over It kit. This is the back. It's just um, a little basic blouse. It's a great summary basic. Uh, this would be really, really easy to dress up. Yeah, I just have to finish cutting these out. Um, and sewing it together should be a breeze because it's just a little teeny top. I also have, um, oh yeah. Oops, my wheel's right here. Recently I purchased, um, so sorry, I'm back. Recently I purchased this. It is um, Rifle, it's the Rifle Paper Company um, Wonderland um, edition? Um, collection? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> this is um, Cotton and Steel screen printed in Japan. Um, so this is rayon and what I want to make with it is another Southport dress by um, what's her name? True Bias. Uh, I've made a bunch of Southport dress dresses and yeah, so I'd like to make another one. And the reason why I love them so much is, one, it's super easy to make. Two, um, it's really uh, not a lot of fabric that you need for it. And three, it doesn't matter if you gain weight or you lose weight or if you eat too much when you're out at dinner um, because it's just a little cinched tie at the waist. And it's super comfortable. It's basically secret pajamas. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm hoping to get back on a schedule where I'm, um, you know, making more videos again and sort of getting back into it. But I think that's it for today. So thank you for watching. And for any of you that um, have stuck it to the end, um, yeah, any of you that, that subscribed to my channel last year and then I mysteriously disappeared for a year, I'm sorry. My life got really crazy and busy, and I didn't have time for anything for a little while. But, um, yeah, I have time right now, and I'm hoping to make some more videos and share a little bit of my crafty life with you guys. And So, um, I'll see you next time. Bye!